Hello everyone. Today I'm going to deal with how to create visualization in a tooltip in Power BI. Uh, tooltip is a great way of giving additional information to our visualization. Uh, and uh, this new feature in Power BI where uh, through which you can add visualization in a tooltip in a tooltip is definitely a great feature. Let's shift to Power BI and see what I exactly mean and how we can do this. I have my data loaded in Power BI and if I create quickly a map, which will show me the sales per state. So before I go ahead and creating a map, I'll just quickly make my state from uncategorized to categorized and I'll use my state and sales in the map. This is instantly showing me the sales that we have got from each of the map. And when I hover over a particular uh, state, you can see this dialog box that appears that gives us information about the exact sales that is coming from a particular state. Now, what I want to do is I want to create a tooltip that will give me an idea about what are the three uh, categories that we are selling in that particular state and the individual sales of each of those categories. So let's move ahead and try to do this in Power BI. I'm just going to name my sheet as sales per state. Now I'll take a new sheet and in this new sheet, instantly we will go to the uh, format option of the sheet See, I don't have any visualization here, so I'm just formatting my ent entire sheet. And from the page information, let's call it category sales. And make sure your tooltip option is on. Now, we'll go to page size. And instead of a fixed size, we'll make this a size of a tooltip. Let's go to the view tab and from the page view, instead of fit to page, I'm going to bring it to actual size so that I get a size of the tooltip that will appear on my visualization when I integrate it. This gives me an option of easily designing my um, visualization or the tooltip visualization inside this container so that when I uh, put it on the uh, final sheet it kind of looks good. Now in this sheet I am going to create first a bar chart that will show me the sales of the three categories. So I have category here and the sales And like I said, the sales of three categories. I'm going to quickly go ahead and format this visualization. Now I'm not doing a lot of formatting over here. For all the specific formatting options of the visualization, please do visit my uh, subsequent uh, or other videos. But right now what I just want to format my visualization so that on the tooltip, it kind of looks good. I'm going to put all my um, marks to the line inside end, or maybe I can put it at inside base and for my, I'm going to turn my X axis off so that it gives a little space to my visualization because I have my formatting. I don't need the X axis here as of now. I'm going to make this a little bold with a proper format of this and maybe the font can be a little I'll just 
bring it back to the default formatting. Um, as of now, I am good with the uh, with the y axis format. I just just didn't need the x axis. And one more thing that I'm going to do is give a proper title to my um, tooltip uh, to my visualization. Let's bring it to black and bring it center aligned because there could be a possibility that I add a little more information here. And I'm just going to go ahead and give my visualization a little nice border so that when it's in the final result, it looks good. One more thing I'll uh, just show it to you is if you notice on my final map, my state names are too small to be visible. So I would want to include my state name in my tooltip as well. So as well as what is the total sales that we are getting from that particular state. So quickly, I am going to just expand this so that I have a little more space. And in this upper part that I kept empty, I'm going to add a multiple row level card. Now let's arrange it properly and put it on the top here and like i said i need the total sales that that is coming from a particular state so in my multiple card i'm going to drop my sales as well as the name of the states so now you can see i have the state name as well as the sales Quickly, we can go ahead and format this. I'm just going to do a few things. Uh, increase my data labels. And give it a nice formatting so that it looks kind of good on the dashboard. And from the category label, I'm going to just give it a... Command, make this a real black. And this is my final tooltip that I want to show on my sales per state. There is a bit of issue that you will notice while you are designing your cards. That is, when I scroll, I can see all the state names. But that is fine as of now because I can fix that a little later. And now, if you, you would notice that you have a tooltip option here after you have designed the entire uh, uh, your tooltip sheet. So in my tooltip, I'm just going to drop one field that is similar to my final visualization, that is the state. So I'm going to take state and drop it here. And this as of now is showing me all the states in the tooltip. Now, when we go to sales per state, here I want the tooltip to only show me the value of the state that I am selecting on. As you can see, when I'm clicking on California, I know there is a bit of formatting that is required. So I can just go ahead here and just reduce the size of my bar and stretch my this uh, card a little. I think that should fix it up. And then you will notice whenever you hover over a particular state, it will just talk about the three categories that you are selling in that state and the total sales value that is coming from that particular state. That's all for now. I hope you followed along. Thank you for watching.